Well, in the Western region, we, we've got 173 trials. Three of them are in the uh, Kununurra uh, Irrigation District. In the southern part of WA, in the wheat belt, in the grain growing region, we've got about 170 trials. Now that's spread from Geraldton through to Esperance. And because you have a number of trials sometimes at one site, that means there's 60 or 70 actual NVT locations throughout the wheat belt. In the western region, we've got the main crop types. It's wheat, barley, oats, canola, lupins, um, and we've got a few chickpea and field pea trials. The grain growing region goes from quite high rainfall in the southwest or the western region through to uh, quite low rainfall in the east. And soil types also change a lot. We're, we're known for our sandy soils, but there are also some quite harsh, clay, heavier soil types. And we, we try and cover all those soil types in the NVT program. For a number of years, we've had some early break wheat trials. They've always been considered somewhat opportunistic in that um, if it rained, we'd put them in, or if we could find the location with some early rain in April, we'd put them in. Uh, but because farmers really wanted that data, for the next year, we initiated some early watering of those trials to just get them emerged uh, in April. Uh, so that the next year, farmers will have some data points on what varieties to grow if there was an early rain in the, the next year. Another thing that growers will find of interest is the new varieties that have been named in the last year. Now, they've been, been included in the NVT program for a number of years, so, they, so when they're released, growers will have yield data for a couple of years, but growers will find that uh, of interest to see those varieties named in the trials this year. Go to the description bar below for the latest information, links and resources.